For generations, we dreamed about a place to live and work in space, a place where life up there would benefit life down here. Today, that dream has come true. Research on the International Space Station improves lives all over the world. The station's benefits for humanity grow every day, and they can be told by the lives that have been changed. Is that two? You say two? I found a big lump in the side of my face and I kept going to doctor after doctor. And I was in so much pain at that time. I was like dying in bed. It hurt so bad. I've never been in so much pain. I went for my first MRI and then it showed up with like hundreds of tumors all over. And then they sent me to, not Dr. Sutherland, but someone who works in his office. And he thought it was near fibromatosis, which I have. We didn't even realize what that was. We'd always heard it called the elephant man disease. There's different uh, types of neurofibromatosis. One of them, the tumors grow on the outside of your skin. The other one, the tumors grow on the inside and hers grow on the inside. A long time ago when we were thinking about this, we approached uh, McDonald Detweiler Associates. It's a company that happens to be located in Canada that built uh, robots for space. They built what Canadians call Canada Arm, and then they constructed the special purpose dexterous manipulator for the International Space Station. And the idea was, if they could build such complex robots, perhaps in collaboration with medicine, we could build a robot that could operate inside an MRI machine. We did not realize that it was um, built out of the same material as the space arm, and uh, we're quite amazed that it, that's what he had made it out of. But it's the multi-dexterity of the robot, and that that robot could perform tasks that made us uh, become increasingly confident that we could overcome the challenges related to building a robot that could operate inside an MR machine with the precision, the accuracy, and the dexterity of a neurosurgeon. It just so happened that the first individual was a young woman, and the young woman harbored a fairly complex tumor underneath the front part of her brain. A machine like Neuron can manipulate tools at an accuracy of 50 microns. That is overwhelmingly superior to what the best surgeon might be able to do. I think it's fabulous. To me, it's actually mind-boggling that someone can take that material and put it into um, a life-saving device that can help millions of people. I honestly think that right now I'd be bedridden. I would not be able to get out of bed if it was not for my doctors. My parents would be taking care of my kid right now. I guess like I'm glad that it hopefully helped people who have my disease and I hope that it helps people who need surgery in the future. If they're ever propositioned with a chance in the future to have something done like this, I hope they take it. <laughs>